Thanks so much for your interest in Martin Luther King Jr. Free at Last. When you purchase this resource, you will get this PDF file, which includes a table of contents so you can see that this art this resource includes the article at three different levels and five days worth of activities, vocabulary, comprehension, and a preposition um, activity that meets language standards. There are two suggested schedules, so you could do a shorter version of this resource or a longer version, and everything is included both in the PDF and in the Google Slides. So when you download your PDF, you'll see all of this information about each of the activities. There are suggestions for teaching. There are links to additional supportive videos. This is everything you need to print and go or assign through distance learning and away you go. The text is a three page biography that focuses on the facts of Martin Luther King Jr.'s life and his work with the civil rights movement. There are graphs included, and sometimes the comprehension activities ask kids to make inferences about the graphs. And there you go, you see we have the exact same text, but at a different Lexile level. The Lexile is marked at the bottom, kind of small, so kids don't really need to know what their Lexile level is. You're the only one that needs to know. And since every text looks the same and the information is the same, just the reading level is different, you can differentiate so easily and so kind of secretly so kids don't have to, to think about what their level is. <clears throat> then the student activity sheets, they are all at the same level because even if a student is reading at a lower reading level, they should be comprehending at the appropriate grade level. And these are all match common core standards for fourth and fifth graders. The final activity is probably the most important because you're taking information from an outside source and integrating it or synthesizing it. This is the uh, really high level skill and also very similar to what kids do on um, state tests. The video is a clip of Martin Luther King Jr.'s famous I Have a Dream speech. And then of course, there is an answer key for you for everything. When you click on any of these three links, it will take you to a page where you can make your very own copy of the Google Slides. Each resource is saved at this, the correct Lexile level, and each Google Slides resource includes the text and all of the comprehension activities. So you'll get a website that looks like this. Number one, free at last is the Lexile level 800. I've named them one, two, and three so that the students again are not really being hit over the head with, the, with their Lexile level. You know that one is the 800, two is the 900, and three is the 1000, but they don't need to know that. Once you've made your copy, you'll see that each resource has the student sheets that they need. So there are eight Google Slides. I recommend making a master copy for yourself that includes everything. And then you can easily delete any slides that you may not want to use. When I assign this, I usually assign the text with one or two comprehension or vocabulary or language activities each day. So each day I will give the kids the text again with the new assignment. When you open this up, kids can zoom in if it's easier to read and see it a larger. There are also highlighting boxes that students can use to highlight key ideas and vocabulary. You can see that all three pages of the text are included. And when it comes time to answer the questions, 
The text boxes are already there for the kids. They just have to click and type. And if they are doing a multiple choice and they need to circle an answer, they also have the circles that they need. Everything they need is all set up and ready to go to make this an easy activity for you. On the final page in the integrating information activity, the link is embedded. If your district does not allow you to send kids to YouTube, as mine does not, you can, this is actually a transparent box that is pasted over this. You can actually delete the transparent box, insert your own transparent box, and link to your Edpuzzle account or whatever place your district has decided is safe for kids to go. So, thank you very much for taking a look at this resource. I hope it helps you and your kids. I hope you find it easy to use, and I hope they find it engaging and learn a lot.